Hello everyone, this is Jay from FPVSN. Today, I'm super excited to share with you the first ever FPVSN timer multi-kit, designed and manufactured in-house by FPVSN official team. This kit features wired ethernet connection, plug and play modular design. You can see here it's just four individual timer units, credit card size, and high efficiency. Paired with FPVSM Timer 4.0 software, this is our answer for robust event timing quest in the fast-paced world of FPV drone racing. Next, I'm gonna walk you through how to set it up. It's going to be short because it's super simple. If you purchase the kit from our website, this is what you're gonna receive. Essentially, the kit itself, containing the main board and four individual timers, all configured to work with the main board. To power it on, you just plug in a USB cable into this port. Once you plug in, you can see all these lights light up. And then connect your Ethernet cable to the RJ45 socket here. The other end of the Ethernet cable will connect to your laptop or computer. Here I'm using an adapter so I can use a USB cable to connect to my computer. That's it for the hardware side. To work with this kit, you have to use software greater than 4.1, which is the latest version. Once you launch the software, you can see this new link here to set up FPVSM Timer Multi. Let's click into it. And then it slides out this new panel. You can see the two buttons here for express setup for four channels and eight channels. Here, the kit only has four channels. I'll just click four channels and we'll accept the okay here. It's gonna override your current workspace, so if you have any unsafe changes, do save it. Let's click okay. Now all four timers are connected. That's it. Basically with one click, you got the timer set up. You can now start to run races. Rate all pilots. Once you got the RSSI com uh, calibrated. Okay, since we have a little bit more time, I'll quickly go over some new features introduced in 4.1. Now, if you go to the settings menu, you'll see some new changes. Notably, here on the connect to Wi-Fi section, you can see the Wi-Fi SSID is already uh, put in. If you are using this kit, don't change any settings here. Otherwise, you might lose connections to some of the timer units. Another change is here, you can set AP Wi-Fi channels. So right now, by default, it's 11. If the signal is not very good, a lot of um, interferences, you can switch to a different channel. Another change is the over-the-air firmware update feature. Now you can update firmware using the UI here. You can download the latest firmware from fvsm.com. This flash method will replace the old flasher. We're planning to deprecate the flasher by end of July. So please upgrade before that. Another nice feature is this uh, connection indicator here. So if this indicator is green or greenish, that means the connection is, uh, is live. Otherwise, if it becomes gray, that means connection is lost. It will be useful for us to see whether a connection is alive by just looking at it. That's it for today. Hopefully you are as excited as I am. Happy racing. See you next time.